This experiment is flow measurement using notches or thin plate wires. So we will use hydraulic bench for this experiment. The objective of the experiment is determine the coefficient of discharge for this V notch. And here this part we call the experimental channel and the hook gauge V notch. And this side you can see the turn on switch of the pump. You can see it is turned on now. Then this is the emergency stop button and this is the inflow control valve. And this side you can see the drain valve. You have, you have to lift it to drain the water. And in this side you can see the calibrated scale from 0 to 35 liters. So we will use V notch for the experiment to determine the coefficient of discharge. So first you have to turn on the pump. Then you have to slowly open the inflow control valve. Then you can see the water level is gradually increasing uh, on top of the wheel. Then you will turn off the pump and you will close the inflow control valve. Then you can get the water level at here that is the minimum value that means uh, the head over the crest is zero that is the capital H value is zero we call that as a datum so when the water level at the datum you will have to take that value using this hook gauge ok when the water level at the crest or the datum you can you can point the needle on top of the surface of the water then you can read the uh, value from here and then you will turn on the switch again and you will increase the valve at the highest level So when the water level is stable, you will have to record that value as well. That is the largest value you can obtain from the bench. Again here you can read the value. Then to measure the actual discharge, you will have to lift the drain valve and let the water go into the sump. Then from this side you can see water level, now it has decreased up to zero. Then you will place the drain valve again, you can see water level is increasing. When it comes to zero you will start the stopwatch and you can stop it when it comes up to 15. That means total difference is 15 liters. So now you have the time and the total volume. In that way you can calculate the actual discharge. Then from the VR formula you will have to calculate the theoretical discharge. For that one you need the, this uh, head difference. We call that head over the crest. That is the capital H. And you can apply that value and the angle of this notch to the VR formula for the V notch equation. And you can calculate the theoretical discharge and the coefficient of discharge is the ratio between actual discharge and the theoretical discharge. In that way you can calculate the CD value but you have to take few different radians. This is the maximum value and you will have to reduce the uh, inflow control valve and for four different H values you will have to calculate the uh, CD. Then uh, after plotting the graph you can find the CD value or the coefficient value for the range.